Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, I have no idea what I'm going to title this video yet, but basically I found a random old notebook in my cupboard and it sparked this video idea. So I've bought a couple of notebooks in the past and I never really use them. I'll use the first couple of pages and then I lose them, forget about them, whatever. I literally just buy them because they look cute and I pretty much use them for video ideas or there's a couple of what I got for Christmases in here where I've written down what people got me so I remember. And yeah, then like I said, I never use it again. But I was going through this one and I found something very interesting that I thought would make for a good video. So what I found in the notebook was 20 facts about me that I'm pretty sure I wrote for an Instagram post because I don't recall doing that as a video. And I wrote this in 2016. So three to four years ago, which is quite a long time. And I read through just a couple and I was like, whoa, that has either completely changed or I've accomplished that or just something is different. So I thought it would be a really fun idea to go through all 20 of those with you guys today. And obviously if they haven't changed, then you're learning a new fact about me. And if they have changed, then it'll be interesting to see how they've changed. So that's what we're doing. I hope this is interesting for you. And I think we're just going to jump straight in. So the first fact is I have a big family, two sisters and two brothers, and we are extremely close. Now this has not changed at all. If anything, I think we become closer as we mature and size wise, it just feels like it's getting bigger because everyone now has partners and then some of those couples have kids. So just my immediate family is like, I can't do math very quickly, but like 15 people and that's just my immediate family. <laughs> Fact number two is I own over 50 liquid lipsticks and I don't plan to stop collecting them anytime soon. Little did I know that here we are nearly four years later and I don't think I've bought a liquid lipstick in at least a year or two. I definitely don't collect makeup like I used to because I have adult things to pay for. I have a place that I live in by myself. I have bills and I just like to either save my money or spend it more wisely. So I do still love liquid lipsticks and I do still own over 50, but I did stop collecting them and now I spend my money on better things. Not that if you spend your money on makeup, that's bad, but I just can't afford to do both. I also got more into the lip gloss thing, which I never thought I would say, but while Jake was in Canada, I think because I didn't have anyone to kiss, I was able to wear lip gloss and now it just hasn't stopped. I just love it. Fact number three, funnily enough, is about Jake. I have been with my boyfriend for nearly four years and we have been through a lot, but I couldn't imagine loving anyone else. So now we have been together for over seven years, which is insane and yes I couldn't imagine loving, loving anyone else we've been through a lot we've been through a lot more since then when you're with someone for nearly a decade of course you go through a lot but like I said still couldn't imagine doing it with anyone else fact number four is I have had nearly every hair color but never black and I never will so since then I don't think I've done much with my hair. I can't remember what color my hair would have been at this point, possibly blue, but then I went back to my natural and then last year I did red and that's still kind of fading out. But yeah, pretty much back to my natural brown and definitely would never go black. The darkest I would do is the brown. Now, fact number five is probably what sparked this whole video idea because it says I'm obsessed with cars and cannot wait to get a van or a turbo when I'm off my peas in brackets nine months. So I was literally counting down the months and then I think I didn't even end up getting a turbo car until two years after being off my peas. It took me so bloody long. But as most of you will probably know because I've put it on my channel, I did get a turbo car about five months ago and I absolutely love it. I drive a 2007 Golf GTI, so nothing too new and fancy, but it's adorable and it goes really fast. It's black, my favorite color of cars, and I absolutely love it. And I just think it's so crazy to look back and see that little old me was counting down the days till I could get a car like that. And now four years later, I have that car and I feel so proud that I've accomplished that. It was kind of like a little goal and I've done it. And I just think that's cool. Fact number six is my absolute dream right now is to turn beauty blogging into a career. <laughs> this one kind of makes me sad because since I wrote that down, you know, I have tried, I have done a lot. You know, I think that was probably around about when the events started kicking off and that was kind of a thing for about a year or so. And then I just feel like events 
kind of died off so I think I got lucky where I kind of did get in on the year when it was all happening but then I kind of got used to that and thought that's what it was going to be like and I thought yes like I've done it I've accomplished this I've I've made it I've you know kicked my foot in the door put my got my foot in the door and then it all died down and I was like oh okay no, we haven't quite made it yet. And since then I really have tried. I do put in a lot of effort whilst trying to maintain working my 27 hour part-time job. I do film as much as I possibly can and it is kind of hard to stay motivated when it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. But don't get me wrong, I'm still not going anywhere. I still enjoy this and love this as a hobby and I don't think I will ever stop, but it can be disheartening when you just feel like you're not growing or achieving anything at all. So in saying that, I guess my absolute dream right now is still to turn beauty blogging into a career. Fact number seven is my favorite TV show is Lost and has been since it was released. Yes, it is still Lost and I think it will always be Lost and it'll always have a special place in my heart. I of course love a whole bunch of other TV shows like Riverdale, but Lost, nothing can beat it. Fact number eight, this one always makes me laugh because I remember when my mum saw it or we spoke about it, she thought I was literally coming out to her as some type of sexuality. She did not understand what it meant, but I am a holosexual and wish I could have holographic everything, especially combat boots. So basically by holosexual, it just meant that I loved everything holographic, not that I was any type of sexuality. So I just, I just, that just always makes me laugh, but I still do love holographic things. If I walk past anything that's hollow, it draws my eye and I want to buy it. But old Ally would have bought everything that was hollow and now I have some restraint. So definitely come a long way, but it'll still catch my eye and I will still love it. And if it's something that I need or will use, I will definitely buy it. And the second part of that fact that I wish I could have holographic combat boots, well, that dream came true. Just beware, this may blind the camera, I'm not really sure, but I actually do have these chunky ass, ridiculous holographic combat boots. Now I've pretty much only worn these once because they are a bit intense and ridiculous, but I absolutely love them. I really wanna wear them again. I did a little bit of a mini photo shoot with Sheridan once with them, but I wanna do more because I'm obsessed with them. And I just think it's funny that I said I wanted something so specific like hollow combat boots and then I went ahead and did it. And they were stupidly expensive, but I don't care. <laughs> Fact number nine is that I really need to get back into drawing because I really do have a talent there. And I definitely think I do and drawing is really therapeutic and enjoyable, but I don't think I have a passion for it like I do with YouTube. So, you know, if I had to choose between sitting down and filming a video or sitting down and drawing, I would definitely go for YouTube. But I should still get back into it just as another hobby. I've actually got a video of some of my drawings that I will leave in a card up above if you guys are interested. Fact number 10 is I really want to drop everything and travel the world, but I'd want to make sure I had enough money behind me. This completely still stands. I would literally love to travel the world tomorrow, but I would never want to do it, like I said, unless I had enough money behind me. And I just don't know if you can ever have enough money behind you to do something like that, because it would be tens of thousands of dollars that you would need unless you were going to work while you were doing it as well. But considering I have never worked another job, I couldn't imagine going to a new job in a new country. Fact number 11 is I have far too many pairs of heels that I can't even walk in, plus they make me too tall. Now people are probably gonna think, eh, you can't be too tall. It's just a personal thing. I don't want to tower over everyone that I'm with. I don't want to tower over my boyfriend. And if I can't walk in them and don't enjoy wearing them, then why would I put myself through that? And actually I did a massive declutter when I moved to this place by myself. So I don't have too many peel. So I don't have too many pe So I don't have too many pairs of heels now. I literally own two. Fact number 12 is I have anxiety and have for years and I hate what it does to me. Still stands. I think I've gotten better with it though. Number 13 is I buy a lot of makeup purely for how it looks or because it's limited edition. Now this kind of ties into the liquid lipstick one so I won't go on about it, but like I said, I have not bought makeup in quite a while. 
I would still lean towards something if it did look pretty or if it was limited edition, but I definitely have so much more restraint. Number 14 is I don't come from a family of money, so everything I buy and do I have earned and worked for myself. This is a massive one for me, and don't get me wrong, my family and parents did absolutely everything they could, they went above and beyond, but just little things like, you know, if you'd go to movies with your friends and your friends' parents would all give them $20, $30, $50, I didn't get that. If I wanted to go to the movies, you know, I have to go to work, make the money, and then go to the movies. When I went shopping when I was 15 and 16, that was me buying all these exciting new clothes that I wanted. They would buy me the clothes that I needed and school wear and things like that, but anything that was considered a luxury, I bought myself by earning the money and going and getting it myself. And to be honest, that has taught me to value and appreciate money so much more than I think a lot of people do. And it also motivates me to save a lot. I'm a really good saver when I have something I wanna to save towards and I'm just good with money. Now, fact number 15, I've wanted to make an entire video on for years, so I'm not really gonna talk about it. I'm pretty much just gonna say it. And then if you guys would be interested in the video, then please let me know. So it says, I know my teeth are yellow and I hate it, but unfortunately it's something I can't control. So contrary to what people might think, I brush my teeth every single day. They're just not the whitest of white. That's all I'm gonna say. Fact number 16 is my favorite color is blue. This has only changed a little bit. My favorite color is now turquoise. Number 17 is, I can't imagine life without YouTube. This has not changed at all. I spend so much time on YouTube, way too much time on YouTube to be honest, but it just makes me happy, it brings me joy. It's where my passion lies and couldn't see life without it. Number 18 is, I wish I could go skydiving. Yes, absolutely. I wish this probably even more than I did at that point, but I have a fear of heights. I hate that sick stomach feeling of falling and I'm just terrified of it. It gives me major anxiety. So there's just so many things against me ever going skydiving, but I still really want to. So who knows if it's ever gonna happen. Fact number 19 is I have never seen or touched snow. <laughs> Unfortunately, four years on, I've still never seen or touched snow and <laughs> it's really getting me down. And fact number 20, as if you didn't know this already, I'm slightly obsessed with dogs. Don't think we really need to go on about that one. So that is all the 20 facts about me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and hope you learned something new. I really loved looking back on these and seeing how things have changed. And if you want me to do this again in another four years, I can do that because things will definitely have changed again. Make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy it, subscribe down below if you're new, and of course, don't forget to click the little notification bell so you don't miss another video, and leave me a comment down below telling me a couple of facts about you. I hope you're all having an absolutely amazing day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.